Well, you know, Red Roof has been around for a number of years. We've been franchising now for the last uh, few years and have grown the brand significantly. We're at 629 locations with Red Roof, Red Roof Plus. And through that, you know, our, you know we work on uh, uh, genuine relationships, real, res real results. So we stay very close to our franchisee base and to the end user, the guests. We do a lot of research, engage in a lot of folks uh, for their feedback. And in the industry, of course, we're very active. And so the extended stay market has been very strong. And so that presented uh, somewhat of an opp opportunistic uh, way to look at it, but we wanted to verify that with uh, uh, you know, interviewing our guests uh, and so on. And we found that a lot of our guests were looking for an extended stay experience for different purposes of stay and so on. And so as we dug into it, there was overwhelming the, uh, a response that we should be in that space. And so we launched Hometown Studios uh, to provide that opportunity for our guests, which has worked wonderfully. We've seen it in our loyalty club program uh, growing and, and rebooking the franchise community, uh, our existing developers and new developers. They're all looking to grow their portfolios and it provides them another opportunity, sometimes in the same market, sometimes in different markets. But that opportunistic perspective with a well-grounded uh, uh, research uh, and creating that strategy is what provided us the, the direction and the guidance to go ahead and move forward. Yes, and as far as growth goes, it's, it's really, you know, again, demand-driven, purpose-driven travel. Oftentimes you see uh, extended stay products uh, initially in you know big R&D uh, areas or, or big research hospitals or uh, you know areas that provide needs for extended uh, stays with project work and so on but today with staycations and and uh, a variety of purposes of travel that are evolving they go pretty much anywhere because you can still service that transient guest as well and yes sometimes they are in uh, where we have a red roof as well and sometimes they aren't so it's really about understanding what the demand generators are in the market uh, what exists uh, in the way of competition in the market and is the demand exceeding the supply or will it no we don't uh, that's why I was saying is you know guests and, and a percentage of our mix of business on any given night could be staying one two three four nights seven nights, 15 nights, 30 days or more. So we provide those rate tiers that are flexible uh, to give that customer their, their um, ideal length to stay based on their purpose of travel or need at that time. There's 54 properties that are open and operating now. Uh, we're in uh, 18 states and our plans are to continue to grow, and we're growing thoughtfully. We have a tremendous amount of business uh, in the pipeline. Folks are reaching out to us. We're about to launch a new prototype in the next 45 days, which provides us even more opportunity beyond the conversion opportunity. So we're looking to where it makes sense to grow, and that's a pretty broad spectrum. Potentially, yeah. We're in 41 states with Red Roof and Red Roof Plus today. So, yes, I, I, would, I would say that you can see us in all 50 states and multiply represented in those states. 